both and they just so happen to be in the same exact group. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Clef. Drini, how about you? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I want my boy Rage to win, but you know Clef looked very impressive from his first game. Rage lost by 18. You know I think I think I don't know. I think Rage is super prepared for Clef. He he's motivated to win this game. I think Rage is gonna take this one. Number five and six in terms of MCS points right now. Kev Boog, obviously they've secured a spot into the Madden Bowl. Mills is, uh, he's hoping and wishing right now, but Little Man Rage and Clef the God certainly uh, will be racking up some points here in group play. And he's setting his audibles, I form slot. So these are all the, you know, sets that he can audible to from the strong close. That's the main reason they love the strong close. They can audible to certain formations, you know, and they, then they can run the ball from the other formation. So, you know. All right, so if you if you are Rage Mo, what are you thinking here? You know, Rage is going to have to try to establish the run game, make Clef uncomfortable on defense. But if I know Clef, he's going to be prepared for this strong close, especially because this became one of the most popular formations in Madden, especially in this draft champion tournament mode. You know, this is a formation that a lot of the top players are running. And Clef told me beforehand, he is not letting anyone run on him. Interesting. He is not tipped. When he when he played against a strong close in online elimination, he played uh, Mustafa Jones. He ran the same scheme that Rage is running right now, and he says he has the best defense for it. He allowed only six points that game, so expect him to have really good run defense right here. Look at this. There we go, just like that. And Rage already in a really tough spot. Going to have to pass the ball right here. And when you're passing versus Clef, you want to be passing on downs where he's not expecting it. You don't want to be passing on downs where it's guaranteed that you're throwing the ball third and ten. Especially when you motion over that tight end, Clef already knows what play is, what play is going to be coming. Third and ten, as you mentioned, obvious passing situation. Wilson, Ooh. Ooh. oh, and he throws a dart Ooh, for a first down pickup. But Clef was all over that. Yes, look for that. Was. Look for that later in the game. That's not going to be there. That play right there, it Whoa. saves Rage for now. But later on in the game, that play is going to cost Rage. And you're going to see constant pressure from Clef. He's either sending six or seven every single play. It just. Uh, He's making sure that he doesn't have the you know time in the pocket to just think of who's gonna get open. He's gonna have to make a snap read. Throws it out to the left, short little pass. I don't like Did that. Did he pick right up there. any yards? No, he didn't. Second and ten. Early on, I don't like this offense from Rage at all. Clef is all over everything he's got he's working with. If I'm Rage, I wanna try one of these outside runs. You see these linebackers all in the box. Try to get them outside, try to extend the try to try to get control of the edge. You know, you aren't even giving yourself a chance right now. Just the poor play calling so far. Did you guys notice that? It looked like Rage was having a little bit of issues with his headset. It might have forced him to call a timeout there. That, that was odd. Man, he's frustrated right now. He's looking around, maybe potentially looking for an admin, but uh, something was bothering him. I'd love to figure out what that was. Doesn't matter anymore. He's got to pick it up and play, you know. And that's the thing, you, you, have to, you have to play well. I like this stretch left here. I think that's what's going to be called. Oh my goodness. He did try to bust it up the middle, then try to angle off to the right. Now it's third and 11. And Rage is playing nervous, if you ask me. Like, the stretch left was there. He should have just waited and seen which safety Clef was on. He was on that left safety. The stretch left would have been a great call. Now he's in another situation where he's got to pass in his under center formation, and Clef's going to be sitting in the dogs. Third and 11. He's got time. He found an open man, Gronkowski, for the first down. And right there, Clef is really mad that his soft squat stayed with the streak. He wanted him to play back like a cloud flat. And just like that, he just gives up a post route because of that mistake by keeping him in his soft squat. So a third and 10 converted, then a third and 11 converted. Keeps the drive alive. It's hard to keep up drives like this, you know, throughout the whole game, you know. You, you got to just start throughout the game. You, it's hard to just keep, you know, doing third downs and fourth downs. It's just not sustainable. You got Little space. hand off to Drake. Oh, it was Picking bad and one. choosing his way. Really bad stick work there by Ray, just like Drini was saying. It looked like he might have had a touchdown. He just needed to wait for that one blocker just to chip that, out, that guy on the outside, and he cuts in with the one cut. Too hard of a cut. And I, and I think stretch left should work here. That's what I would be looking to run. Picked up eight, made it second and two. 136 left to go here in the first quarter, and then he is stuffed right there near the line of scrimmage. I have Third no, and two. I have no idea why he goes to that dive. The stretch left is wide open. So another third down for Rage. It's been a long drive. 
may potentially take the entire first quarter with him. Rage looking to keep the drive alive on third and two. Can he convert his third consecutive third down? Drops back to pass oh. underneath. Dangerous throw, but it's converted for another first down. And Rage is playing a little bit nervous, playing with fire, getting away with it for now, though. And, you know, that's something that has to happen as a Madden player sometimes. Sometimes you need to get a little lucky, you know, let them nerves calm down, get a little lucky seven points. Drake oh. picking and choosing his way, can't find much. And although Clef is playing good run defense, there are holes there for Rates to run through. He's just not picking the right one. I feel like he's probably nervous and, you know, I don't know, like there's holes there. He could have got so many yards right there, maybe five to six yards, better than the negative one, uh, you know, yards lost, so. You know, I think he's, he's just got to step up and find the right hole. A and long you, sustaining drive right now, 0-0 zero, zero to score. And even if you notice, Rage is calling his plays very fast, so he's not giving his players any time to regain their energy. He just quick snapping plays, and that's a great play there by Rage. Nice little dump off underneath to Gronk, and Gronk picks up a good chunk of change, makes it third and one. That was the best play by far that Rage has had on this drive. Maybe that play will help him calm down a little bit, but he needs to convert right here. If Rage is able to get seven on this drive, that would be huge. The fourth third down Rage's face. Can it convert? And he does again. Four for four on third down conversions. Yeah, but the thing is, he picks up the first down right there, but he has a touchdown if he goes to the outside. He's had a few plays like that where he's just missing the gap. And look for Rage to try to attack that again. You know, he saw what he liked right there. He saw there was a huge hole, but Clef wasn't allowing it. Whoa! Yeah, that was a, you know, Clef would say that's a fluke. Second and ten. He's playing really good run defense. Seven rushes, ten yards. Still, you know, it could be more yards, but you know, overall, you know, I like what he's doing. A long, long drive. Gronkowski in motion. Dropping back to pass. Looking, scanning. He's got someone in the nope. middle, and it's picked off. So now Clef getting greedy, trying to bring it out. Got brought down at the eight yard line. I thought for a second Rage had a man. He did, but he threw it late, and that's why Clef's player was able to get back there and make a play. Rage playing a little bit nervous. If you were Rage, you just needed to get points on that drive because it wasn't a very solid drive, but you made it down the field. It, I'm a type of player, after I get a few, few breaks, you know, I, I try to wind it down a little bit, you know, realize, you know, this isn't going well, get some points on the board. Maybe my defense will play better than my offense, but Rage makes a crucial mistake right there, just missed his read. And it looked like he also had the tight end on the other side wide open, just missed a few guys through the streak late. Clef's player is able to get back there and make a play. Yeah, and you know, these are just tournaments. It's just a lot of pressure. You know, I play a lot of live games versus Rage, and I trust me, he does not miss, you know, a lot of reads, and he just not, doesn't throw late uh, reads late. So, you know, I, I think it's just his back is against the wall, and there's just a lot of pressure on him, and that pressure is getting the best of him right there. He threw the pass late, and just wanted to be a loser pick. I got to imagine suffering an 18 point loss that there was a lot of pressure on him coming into this game. And then how about Clef? Ah! First play out the gate, nice little run. Picked was, up 20 yards. He was trying to get sticky right there. You saw him do the hesitation, waiting for uh, Rage to make a move, then he would have made a move. You know, Clef, one of the stickiest Madden players I, I've seen in the open field, up there with the gang. He's Lamar Jackson, but, you know, Clef is tough with the run stick. Clef just looks like he is brimming, overflowing with confidence right now. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh it's picked two. up by Rage! Rage has a chance! Can he pick up a block? No, but he's down! But well, what a recovery for Rage! Oh, so so oh so my so goodness! I'm lucky. I'm lucky. So lucky. Come on, yeah, Rage sorry, is saying, too. I always get lucky versus you. He has no shame at all in this. You know, <laughs> I look at him, he's right in goal line. He's like, I'm not making no mistakes. I'm not throwing no picks. Let me just go ahead and get in goal line, make sure I get some points on this drive that weren't supposed to be there. So a Rage interception followed up by a cleft fumble. Lost yardage that time. Was first and goal at the eight, now it's second goal, second and goal at the 11. The two minute horn sounds. And we've seen almost nothing of Clef's offense. Rage has basically possessed the ball the entire first half. Yeah, man, he just got a 20 yard rush to start it off, then a fumble. That's just so, that's, that's unlucky if you're Clef. And now Rage is in a position where he can score seven to the three yard line. Let's see if he can knock, uh, get the ball in. Drake testing that outside boundary. Found some space, picked up eight. Now makes it third and goal at the three yard line. 
And it looks like Clough is having a little bit of trouble containing the outside. It looks like he's got that middle bottled up, but on the outside, it looks like there's some there's some leverage over there. I would look for Rage to take advantage of that here. Stretch is coming. Yeah, stretch left. Does Clef have an answer defensively? Oh yes, he does. Hey, baby. Oh. A two-yard loss oh, on third and, and goal oh, from the three. And that's heartbreaking if you're Rage, man. You just got to fumble versus a, a super tough offensive player like Clef. You don't, you're not going to get much of those in a game, and you know, especially in a tournament game. You know, he's locked in. And only getting three points off of that hurts. Now Clef gets the ball back, and he can score quick. It's only one minute and 49 seconds, but he can score quick. He had a minute and 49 seconds versus uh, Dimes. He scored so quick. It was like lightning. The interesting thing is, this is pretty much the exact same scenario that Clef faced in his first game against Dimes. He was down 3 nothing, got the ball with little time here in the first half, and he scored in about a minute and five seconds. Can he do it again here against Range? Winston scanning tons of time. Oh my goodness, all day in the world will find Parker and he's brought down after a first down. Clef looks sharp in this Trey Wide flex. I don't blame him to just go right back to the same play. Winston moving up into the pocket. This time he's sacked. I like the time out there. Gather your thoughts, get your best play out there. No reason to rush another play. I wouldn't mind seeing a run right here. So now Clef out of timeouts. You've called Come for on, a run. run. Well, you got it. Freeman. Oh, my goodness. Freeman. There you go. Yeah, it looks like Rage Whoa, just Oh, what a big up. run. Yeah, Rage just isn't set up. He doesn't know how to stop that run without bringing that nickel in. And, you know, I, I completely agree with the call right there by Clef. I said it right before he snapped the ball. I wouldn't mind seeing a run and Brett breaks off for a 30-yard game. And if I'm Rage, I've seen Joke and Little Man play Boogs earlier today. And Boogs ran the same tray wide flex. Little man, and, uh, little man and Joke were so were so prepared for it, and I don't know why Rage isn't running a similar mm. defense towards that. He had the crosser right there, could have got a touchdown off it, missed the read, got a drag instead, got one yard. I think Cliff was a little afraid he got hit while he was throwing, but he did have that crosser, Devontae Parker, for a touchdown. Just wasn't able to get enough time, held onto the ball a little long, but he looks like he's going to have him again. Clef scanning, looking not as open this time, finds Reed on the outside, will pick up some yardage. And it's gonna be Third and three. It's going to be tough to get seven right here. He has no timeout. He has to hit the sidelines, and he has 26 yards to go with only 30 seconds left. Expect three points here with Clef getting the ball at half. If he gets seven right here, it's just going to be a, a huge mental mistake by Rage. I, I don't think it's going to happen. Another thing to note is a lot of Clef's players are tired, and if I remember correctly, he has a lot of players with that 85 deep route run, and when they're just a slightly tired, they don't have that deep route run no more. They run the route slower. They're not going to get open as easily. So look for that to be a case here. Great read. Can you get out of bounds? Nice. Good read, good throw, good pick up for first down. Took almost no time off the clock as well. 27 seconds left to go here in the first half. It's three to nothing. Definitely don't want to, you know, put yourself in a spot where you get zero points, you know, because when I played in my online elimination, I actually made a mistake where it was like 10 seconds left and I was on the 10 yard line. I threw like a wheel route and I was inbound. So, you know, th then the clock just went, went down and I didn't get any points. So, you know, if I'm Clef, I'll play the super conservative. You want to make sure that you get points on the board no matter what at all costs. You're playing better than Rage right now. Rage got a fumble and you're still in the game. Clef looking, scanning, throwing to the side, broken up. That's a scary throw right yeah, there. Yeah, it sure uh, is. Very uncharacteristic out of Clef. I'm surprised we didn't see him go to that bunch of verticals that we see a lot of players run. But yeah, that was very uncharacteristic out of Clef. And now he's, he is, like Drini said, he's kind of going in dangerous territory. There's only 22 seconds left. When you know huddle, there's going to be about a 12 second runoff. So you need about 16, 15 seconds to spike the ball if you are tackled inbounds. And that's going to be really tough for him to get if he gets tackled inbounds here. 20 seconds now. Winston stepping up in the pocket. Oh my goodness, away. you can't take a sack, and he took a sack. He's not going to get any points here. Oh my goodness. Of all the things, you could not take a sack there. And he took the sack. Rage with a huge clutch defensive play. And he enters the halftime with a three to nothing lead. In the other game, Henry is on the board. Let's go to Nick Mazesco and User for some highlights. Yeah, this game started off with early fireworks. It was Henry taking the top off the defense. 
Man, oh man, you cannot go one-on-one -on -one with Hollywood Brown. It is seven nothing early in this ball game. Back to James for the second half. Wow. So here we are, Rage with a three to nothing lead. Look, if you're looking for one of the best DB legends out there, look no further than the Madden Challenge giveaway card guaranteed by attending Madden Challenge Finals on Saturday using our Twitch extension or even following us on Twitter. You can score yourself an extremely rare Nat 96 OVR Champ Bailey pulled right from the Madden Ultimate Team Playoff Masters Pool. All right, before we get back to the game, let's listen to Clef. Wired up. Ooh, don't throw it to me. Do not throw it to me. You trying to, too. Oh my God, where's my dude going? Zanoise! Come on, come on. Ah! Oh, he's so lucky. He's so lucky. He's so lucky. All right, we are just about set to get our second half underway. A couple of mistakes, a couple of unlucky breaks for Clef, and he was shut out in the first half. You know, that fumble's unlucky, but that, towards the end of that half right there, that's a, that's a mistake on Clef's part. He should know you got to get rid of that ball. you got to throw it away. Sometimes you got to be happy with three, especially in a game like this where it looks like he's able to stop Rage and it looks like Rage was struggling, but now Rage has all the momentum. He's up by three points, and now all he has to do is play defense. If you ask a lot of players, they feel like if you have a lead in this mode, you're gonna, you have the advantage no matter who has the ball. As long as you have the lead, you can always come up with a stop. But this is going to be very, very tough for Clef. He's got to get seven out of this. Luckily yeah. for Clef, even despite all the mistakes and, and the breaks and, and all those things, he's down 3 nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's not like Rage is just out playing or anything like that. It's just mental mistakes by Clef. The score could possibly be 10-0 right now if we're not, you know, counting the fumble. You know, he's playing really good defense on Rage. He's not, Rage is not moving the ball. So, you know, I, I feel like Rage is going to just rely on his defense right here to win the game. Jameis picks up six, makes it third and four. I would love to see an inside zone right here. What does Clef got? Ooh. Oh boy. It's not there. Versus. That was great defense by Rage, and busting this, up that run play in the backfield. And this is where it gets really tough for Clef. If he gets stopped right here, Rage has complete control of the game. And third so brings up fourth now. Fourth and four. What does Winston got? He's got a man. Yes, he does. Finds him on the sideline. Pretty fortunate right there for Clef. In that animation, they call them out of bounds quite a bit. I'm surprised that they called him down in bounds right there. I was waiting to see. Really, really close right there on the sidelines. Yeah, as soon as I seen the animation, I felt like that was going to be turnover on downs, rage ball. But you got the catch, Tyreek Hill. So big fourth down conversion. Now it's first down. I'm surprised that Ray, uh, that Clef doesn't know, you know that DB's thing from 146 blows up this run without a motion. So uh, if I'm Clef, you know you got to know that type of stuff. Like by this far into the year, I'm super surprised. Second and four, after a good healthy pickup on first down. And I'm actually surprised to see Clef just constantly in this Trey Y flex. You know. I expected Clef to use a lot of that gun doubles, gun bunch. You know, I expected him to audible, audible around a lot, and it looks like he's just kind of getting, getting in the habit of just continuously coming out in this Trey Wide flex. I'd like to see him go to some other formations and make Rage uncomfortable. Looks like Rage almost daring him to throw here. Will he do it? Yes, he does. Here goes Clef. Clef looking, scanning, finding. He's got a man, oh, and that's a first down. Doing, Great pocket right there by Clef. He stepped up to the right. If he would have stepped up to the left, I don't think he makes that throw. I think he probably gets hit while he's throwing. Maybe he takes a sack. Huge play there by Clef, and this is a huge way to rebound coming out of half. That was a long developing play, guys. Yeah, and a lot of people get pocket presence confused with, you know, like, you know, some people just step up in the pocket and say, yeah, I got pocket presence. But no, it's really, you know, you can step left when there's nobody there, step right when no one's there. You know, it's not all about just stepping up in the middle. You know, sometimes that actually gets you in trouble. So, Clef is actually one of the few that I feel like has really, really good pocket presence in the MCS. Clef with the ball, down three to nothing. He's going to hand it off. Freeman wow. hitting the backfield. Lost four yards there. We'll bring up second and 14. Vander has such a big body, 85 speed. He's going to get out there on the runs. Really, really good player to have if you're Rage. And I believe Clef has him on his roster as well. So, Vander Esch making plays for both these guys early on in this game. Can Clef get on the board? You know he's dying for six. And this is similar to a type of defense Lil Man and Joke ran on Bugs. Not the same adjustments, but you know the same alignment. 
Let's see if it works out Winston for him. Winston under pressure. Oh, gets away from it, but then ultimately sacked from behind. He avoided the pressure for a good two seconds, gave himself a little bit of time, but ended up getting sacked as soon as he, you know, seen someone wide open on the crosshair. Didn't have enough time to throw it. You Third and 17, this is a huge play. And this is where Clef has been known to make some mistakes. You know, he, he just is, he's a very aggressive Madden player. But third and 17 in this game mode, down here in the red zone, it's really tough to pick up. So if you're Clef, I would play it safe right here. No reason to force it. Watch out! Screaming off the edge was Rage. Got another sack. Back-to-back -back sacks forces the field goal attempt. The kick is up and it is good. We got a top ball game, ladies and gentlemen. And this game is flying by. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to see Rage try to make this the last drive of the game. He knows that that Clef is probably a better player than him, and I wouldn't, I don't blame him if he tries to take this entire clock and just kick a field goal. I really wouldn't, I really wouldn't blame him at all. And you know, I'll tell you this, they, um, boy, it's 3-3, and when you think about the first drive that Rage put together, he took the entire first quarter, so he's got the offense to get that done. Yeah, I mean, besides that first quarter, he has not, you know, done anything really. He has 58 total yards of offense. Clef is playing really good defense right now, but look at this, that was a crisp read. You know, seen, you, he's seen Clef's user go to the drag, had the delay streak ready, just in case he committed to the drag. Good read to Gronkowski. 3-3 three, three the score. Time winding down here in the third quarter. Can Rage pull the upset? If I'm Rage right here, if he truly wants the clock, I will run the ball, get to the fourth quarter. Looks like he's gonna pass the ball right here. If he gets, you know, if he throws an incompletion, it might just hold him back. He'll throw it into the flats. There's Freeman. He's brought down. Every time he's running that play, it looks like, you know, the maximum yardage he gets is zero or one yard. I feel like he has to stop running that play, even versus Henry Clef. It hasn't given much success. So there you go. We go into the fourth quarter, all tied up. Three apiece, a lot lower scoring game than I think a lot of folks were anticipating. Rage looking to potentially, potentially pull the upset. All right, so he's gonna motion over, slant. This is the play that I've seen Clef and Lillman love. He throws a- uh Oh, watch out! Oh, almost a pick on, by Adrian Amos. Oh my goodness, yeah, a dangerous, yeah, dangerous that's pass. A I mean, that's, that's a catch. Be thankful you in this game. That's a fucking catch. Be thankful you in this game. You terrible. And they're both that's talking too. to each other. Rage is saying that should have been a catch. Clef saying that should have been a pick. Personally, that was a bad, that was a bad stick by Rage. He could have easily caught it. Aggressive he just, catch. Yeah, aggressive catching. But he, he, went, he was too stubborn. He, he was trying to rack it, try to get more yardage. So it was really his fault. Gronkowski picks up that first down, keeps the clock moving. And from what I'm seeing, that's the only route Rage is really, guys. That, that route to Gron Gronkowski, that's great that, point. That, that delayed streak out of the backfield. Look for Clef to key onto that. I know Clef considered himself one of the clutchest players. I expect him to make a huge play down the stretch in this game. First down for Rage. Just about four minutes to go here in the ball game. Tie score, 3-3. Three, three. I just don't know why he's just going back to this run. This run has not given him much success versus uh, Clef. It seems like he has the adjustments for it. If I'm Rage, I'd never run that run ever again. It's not good. Second and seven after a three yard pickup on first down. This Clock a, now under four minutes. This is a tough situation. I think he's going to pass the ball here, but I would really like to see a run, see, make sure that clock keeps moving. But it looks like he's going to pass here. Rage. Oh, he's got a man. He drops Ooh. it in right over the top. And if that's Amos over there, he's probably going to make that play, but I believe that's Janoris Jenkins. Just doesn't have the speed that Amos does. Ooh. Great read there by Rage. I would have been a little scared to make that, but... Great, great way to recognize the coverage and who Clef's personnel is. Jenkins isn't going to be able to get there. Dropped it right in the bucket, and now he is moving. Three minutes to go. Ball spot at the 18-yard line. Goes to this eye pro looking. I, I feel like he's going to run stretch right here. He's giving him success one play. I think he's going to try it again. The blockers right. are there. Getting to the outside. Can't find it. If you're Rage right there, you could have picked up four or five yards. You don't need to go for the touchdown. It looks like he kind of went outside for no reason right there. I would have just cut my losses and ran right up the gut. It is now getting into dangerous territory here for Clef. About 2.30 left to go in the ball game. 
And that's honestly been Rage's downfall with his run game. He's looking to make the big play in, instead of the guaranteed yardage that he has. He has four to five yards, a lot of these plays, and he just wants to get this touchdown so bad, it kind of messes him up. Second and nine. Thought he was gonna toss it, Ooh. then threw it out into the right side. A short pickup. Third and six now. I actually love that play from Rage. That was that was a really like cute play. You know, I was never expecting the bubble to be on that side. Really good play call there by Rage, but Clef has the defense for it. And this is a huge play. I, I'm interested to see if Rage goes for the dagger, tries to get the first down. If he's able to get the first down, it's gonna be really tough for Clef to, to rebound and score. Personally, right here, I'm probably gonna run the ball because it's so hard to pass he's the passing. ball. He's passing. Third and six, Rage looking to throw. Steps up in the pocket, can he get away from the defender? Oh, it's fumbled! Oh, oh my goodness! Rage. Devin White fumble recovery! Just way too aggressive, he makes his user miss, but then he's gotta get down. There's no reason to go for the first down right there. You played great on that drive, you had a flawless drive. Just take your three, you're gonna end up inches short, but you gotta take your points right there. Less than two minutes to go. Full complement of timeouts. He's got to go nearly the entire length of the football field. Does Clef to secure this win? Does he got it in him or can Rage find the defensive backbone? I'm telling you, Clef considers himself one of the clutchest players. I told you he was going to make a play on that drive. And now will he be able to put it together on his offense? He's Here comes guy. Clef. Oh, look at him get oh, nasty with that stick. Oh man, that was just a, about one minute to go. That was a big tackle. He, <laughs> Brian Dawkins tackled him with his back. It looked like he even like it just he stumbled oh, on his back. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Oh man, Rage is frustrated right now after that play he made, fumbling with his QB. He does not know what to do versus this inside zone. By the way, it's Clef been giving him problems. At the 35, needs about 30 yards for a field goal attempt. Less than a minute to go now. Clef. Oh, he's got a man. Can he get down? Yes, he does. Tyreek Hill on the right side. See you later. Touchdown, Clef. Clef's not going to miss that read. Like I said, Clef considers himself one of the clutchest players. Oh, they don't know about rebound now? Hey, they don't man. know about rebound now? Tyreek Hill up top that is, is man. hard to stop we that. You know what I mean? You can't forget about Tyreek Hill on the outside. And that's exactly what happened right there, Rage. Ray just completely forgot about Tyreek Hill, it, fell asleep. And, but the one thing that happened right there is Clutch end up going into the end zone, giving Rage another chance. You know, if he goes down, the game is over. Instead, Rage has 43 seconds with three timeouts. This is the Snickers touchdown replay. And oh my goodness, look at Tyreek Hill getting loose and scoring six. That was an unbelievable play, and as you guys mentioned, Rage, just a huge mental error to set that up. And Tyreek Hill has made so, many, he's made so many plays for Clef, but look at Rage fighting. Clef had a chance to finish the game, now Rage is on the midfield, actually getting a chance to score seven himself. Bad mistake by Clef, although he like super dotted him. Oh, man. So here we go. Rage with his full complement of timeouts. 37 seconds left to go. Can he find his clutch gene here? Rage. Ooh, great hand. Pick it off the two. Anderson it off the had it for a moment, then got broken up. 34 seconds left to go. Ball spotted at the 50 yard line. A touchdown and an extra point would tie the game. Rage dropping back to pass. Throws it underneath. He's got Anderson. Stays inbounds, but Rage uses a timeout to stop the clock. I don't like that play call. If I'm Rage, I gotta attack deep. You know, five yards ain't gonna do anything for me. I'm at the 43 yard line. We need to get a big play here. Third and three. Rage out of the pocket. Looking, scanning. He's gotta throw this ball away when he does. Come on. That was a good user. That was a really good user. Seen the playmaker. He went, he did a crosser, followed the crosser. Ray shot a playmaker him right, and he read it perfectly. Nothing was open. Great defense by Clef. He could finish the game right here. Clef, 20 oh, seconds shit. away. Rage needs three yards to pick up a first down on fourth down. I think Rage is going to go. Ooh. He's going to try to attack the seams. He's going to try to attack the seams quick. From the shotgun, Rage looking. He's under pressure, and he goes down. 
That's the ball game. Three more, baby. Clef the God. A huge offensive play to give himself the lead, and then a huge defensive play to put the game away. And that really was just clutchness. You know, he made the stop on defense. Rage, crucial error, should have went down.